g'day. This tank's been sitting empty for about nine months and I'm finally going to set it up. I'm going to set it up down here in the garage so it's on a nice hard concrete base and it's a bit easier to work with down here. Just fixed the board onto the back, got the light working, and gave it a quick wipe out. Now I'm just going to put some gravel in. I'm putting big fish in here, it's only going to be a few really big sized fish so I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm not going to build too many um, hidey holes and cabins and stuff. The fish themselves are bigger than my hand so I don't have to worry about making safe places for little baby fish and I can keep it nice and easy, just nice flat rocks on the bottom to give them heaps of room and a few plants to colour it up. got the landscape pretty much how I want it or close at least I'll play with it a bit more later on but that's the basics how I want it fairly open some nice light colors in there I use white rocks to open it up and keep it light and I think I'm just about ready for some water got the hose in and I've put one of the glass lids on top of it to keep it in place and then a nice heavy rock there too because I do not want that hose coming out once it's running okay so I put the end of the hose on one of the nice flat rocks so it doesn't disturb anything too much the water should hit that rock and spread out evenly without disturbing the gravel That's the plan at least, we'll see if it works or not. That's exactly how I wanted it to work. That's perfect. That was a nice shot when I went through that tunnel. That one, that one. Awesome, it's filling up beautifully. The uh, water level is getting nice and high now, so I'm going to add the water ager in. And water ager neutralizes all the chlorine and chloroids in the town water, uh, which are deadly to your fish. So you have to treat your water. You can't just use tap water out of the um, house tap, or else the chlorine in it will kill your fish. So length times height times width divided by 1000 and that's your volume but there's heaps of really good calculators online just google calculate aquarium volume and all you'll have to do is type in your numbers and it'll do it for you so that's the easier way for sure and then once I work that out 
I found out it's 540 litres, which is about 140 US gallons or 120 imperial gallons. Either way, I know what I'm doing with this. I've worked it out. Uh, for your tank, I suggest you use one of the calculators online to work it out. And I need this whole bottle. It does come with a little measuring cap if you only have to do a bit, but I've worked out that I need the whole bottle, so I'm just going to tip it in and then circulate it with the hose. See that? It's a nice blue liquid. So I'll mix this water ager in now, just let it mix in the tank and let it sit a while and then I'll work on my filters and aerators and everything else before the fish go in so that'll give it plenty of time to sit, settle down and get ready. I found some nice decorative paper with rocks on it so I fitted that to the top panel as a background and then I've decorated all that shelf with bits of coral rocks and shells the light is in there for the tank and I've got myself an extra light so that one will sit there I finished decorating inside the tank I've got it how I want it now I've got all my pumps set up I've got one two three internals a heater and then this big external pump also so it actually sucks the water out through this pipe it goes through it's got four layers of medium in there it goes through all the filters and comes back up this pipe and gets pushed back in on that end i've also got the option to put an air hose into this pump at the back it's a nice big strong pump and where it shoots out it's got a tiny little attachment for an air hose so i can put the air hose onto that and it'll also put oxygen into the water for me i'll show you how that one works so i've got this little air hose here it's hooked up to a pump under that shell a little air pump and then i take it down there you might want to have a look through the glass and when i plug it in to there beautiful and off the other side of that air pump I've got line running along the bottom of the tank under the gravel mostly over to that treasure chest ornament so behind that treasure chest ornament I've got an aerator keep lots of oxygen in it and the fish will be happier now I've got my three big boys in this bucket I've already adjusted that water in the bucket so to start with it had their old water in the bucket with them and then slowly I emptied out a jug at a time and replaced it with water out of this tank and I did that slowly so they get used to the new water and the new temperature if there is any difference and that just helps them so that when they go in they're already climatised, used to the water and there shouldn't be any problems at all And I'm just going to tip them straight in. Probably through the glass, babe. You got them?
Very important to keep your lids on. The lids keep the temperature in. Also stops your water from evaporating, losing water into the air. But most importantly, stops them from jumping out. All done, in action, set up, they look happy and I'm definitely happy to see them in there. That's my two big Oscars. The Albino is Sylvia, my long fin Oscar. Seymour over the back is my Tiger Oscar. And at the front here, I've got my Gold Sev. So that's Seymour, Sev and Sylvia. Thanks for joining me everyone. Remember, take time for the simple joys. Bye.